Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. When we last left off, we completed uh, most of the early game mansion stuff. Uh, we still got a little bit of this mansion to do. We've still got a couple of the crests to go find. And uh, I last played this five days ago. So uh, I, I roughly remember what we're doing. Right, so we've got absolutely mad bags of ammo, which is excellent. We like having mad bags of ammo. Uh, I'll apologize if there's too much coughing. Uh, I'm not infected with the C virus anymore, but it has left me with an awful cough that just won't go. Anywho, enough about my bullshit. Let's get going. So, we need to get the chemical. Um, I think we're kind of... Yeah, we need to unlock that room. Done everything we can do upstairs. Okay, cool. So let's go to the piano room. Uh, get Becca practicing the Moonlight Sonata, which is an absolutely wonderful piece of music. Um, it is on my Spotify playlist. I've always been fond of that track. Can you guess why? If you'd said, gee, Probably Titan because you played Resident Evil at an early age. You'd be right. I love that piece of music. Anyway, let's go grab up these um, these notes here. Will we take the musical notes? Yes. <clears throat> I actually really like the fact that in the remake of this game, they split that up into two pieces. Uh, kind of an interesting move. A little nod to us OGs. Chris, unfortunately, can't read music. Yeah, that is rather unfortunate. Don't feel too bad, Chris, because I can't read music either. It's me, Chris. Are you all right? Yes, I have decided not to grieve any longer. <laughs> okay. Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? Wait, what is that? <laughs> My interpretation is off a little. Chris, may I practice for a while? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we pick here, as far as I know. Uh, if she practices either way. Um, yeah, Chris is... <laughs> God damn it. Kind of a bit of a dick there. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's... See? Just relax. Infinitely and play. better than you can do, Chris. All right. And that's not bad being 18 and part of a special forces team and a, a helicopter uh, engineer and a, a medic and, you know, uh, apparently pretty, pretty good on the piano. I mean, she's, she's not an expert, but, you know, at her age, that's not bad. Oh, God. Anyway. Um, I love the fact that in this corridor, you can still hear her practicing. Fantastic stuff. So, let's go ahead into the main um, area. Let's go to the main um, uh, hall. And we're going to head over to the other wing. Because there's quite a lot actually in there that we haven't done. And we haven't done, of course, uh, we haven't done the clock puzzle yet. Of course we haven't, Titan. We've just started the, the, the chain of events that leads to that, you jackass. Anyway, uh, let's go. Ah, oh, can we let the dogs in? We can. <clears throat> Excellent. Arr. Oof. Yep, 
Well, I guess... Oh, yeah, I think it's only in the remake that the dogs actually get inside, isn't, isn't it? Something like that. Right, well, we've used the mansion key there, but... We're not going to go in there... Oh, we haven't even got the shotgun yet. Uh, we're not going to go in there just yet, because we actually need a small key uh, for that room. So, let's go find ourselves a small key, shall we? I love this camera angle here as well. Those dirty bastard zombies in there staring at us. Now, this is a complete and utter waste of time. But, you know, it's not as if we're hurting for ammo, is it? So, let's go exterminate a couple of zombies. Alright there, Mr. Man. How'd you like that, huh? Sorry to ruin your nap, but, uh, you know. Filthy zombie scum. Don't want you guys spreading the tea now, do we? got enough people spreading the sea at the moment. There we go. Lovely. Uh, there's some ink ribbons down there, but you guys know that already. Um, we're obviously not going to be grabbing that. Uh, right, okay. Should we grab the map? Oh, why not? I guess we could. Actually, let's re reset these um, moved objects first. Exit the room and come back in. Can we have, like, some more PlayStation 1 games, please, Sony? Please? I mean, you've gone through all this effort to build a fairly decent emulator here. Uh, be a shame to let that thing go to waste. Uh, unfortunately, <clears throat> uh, I was looking through the library of PlayStation 1 games, and a lot of them are like Tekken... Uh, is it Tekken Tag Tour? No, it's Tekken 3, I think it is. Uh, there's a lot of um, games that you can't actually buy. You have to get the subscription service. It's a map of the first floor, which is really frustrating because I really don't want to have to pay out for the vastly superior Xbox Game Pass and have to pay for the top tier of Sony's service as well just to get literally a couple of PlayStation 1 games. I don't understand. I don't understand their subscription model at all. Um, you would have thought that the, the mid-tier, oh, actually, we've got dogs in here. The mid-tier would have been all the retro emulated stuff. Come on, fighter. And you would have thought the ultra high tier would have been all of the um, uh, freebies, kind of like uh, Game Pass, but not. So, yeah, kind of strange to lock the... Um, the retro stuff behind the highest tiered paywall. Uh, yeah. You little shit. Oh, hey, there's quite enough of that. I have to put this rabid boy down. So, yeah, yeah, a bit strange. Um, okay, we actually didn't lose that much health. And unfortunately, I've got a feeling, because it is the highest premium tier, I think a lot of people just won't go for it. That and the fact that um, you get a handful of PlayStation 2 games, uh, and literally, like, not even a handful of PS1 games, literally like six or seven of them or something. It's really piss poor. Um... But all that money, it's... Oh, man. It's such a shame. Um, we won't pick that one up yet. Let's go through here. Because it is quite a lot of money a month. Um, you know, uh, to have the service uh, for these retro games. It's a shame. Now, <clears throat> I, I would be a lot happier with the uh, service if all of the games were available to buy separately. Would I pay eight pound, eight to ten pound each for PlayStation One games, PlayStation Two games? Uh, yeah, yes, I would. <clears throat> Not quite as convinced to pay uh, like thirteen pound a month to have them, because with Game Pass and my Nintendo Switch uh, online thing, which I'm really thinking about cancelling, to be honest. You know that comes up at. Nearly £50 a month between all of them. Kind of crazy, just for your gaming addiction. Now, if you only have one system, that's fine. You know, I can understand, you know, why not, right? 
Come on, Fido. Come on. There he goes. Get rid of these three dogs. Lovely. Okay, so that's this area clear. Uh, let's... There's loads of herbs here. This game is oh so very generous with its herbage. Thank you. Yeah, just... A, it's, oh, man. There's so many, like, PlayStation 3 games um, on the service as well, which is really bloody good. I'm very happy with that. And there's, you know, there's some really good ones on there. But as uh, it's streaming only... Uh, even if I did pay out for the, the top tier, um, there's a huge, you know, the biggest portion of it, the PS3 library, is completely cut off for me because, you know, we struggle streaming uh, Netflix uh, on a good day. So, you know, trying to stream uh, PS3 games, good fucking luck. In fact, uh, to go on further than that, <clears throat> in my old house, we actually had pretty reasonable internet. It, it wasn't bad. It was, I don't know, I think we used to get about 70 down, something like that. Which was fine. It was adequate, especially when you consider that, you know, that was like five years ago. Um, even that then had issues now and again streaming from PlayStation Now. So, you know, on a connection that's 10 meg down if you're lucky and the wind's blowing in the right place, and God's smiling at you. Um, yeah, ain't gonna happen. Considering our connection isn't actually fast enough for Disney Plus. Uh... Yeah. Ooh, nice. Right, anyway, uh, enough about me moaning about this half-baked service from Sony. Let's continue clearing the area. He's gone. Sweet. Got one more Z right at the back. Come on, smelly little brain muncher. You take your medicine. There we go. Uh, and we don't have any space left. Although, what we could do, we'll do that. We'll mix the two herbs. Sure. And then what we can do? Let's go do this puzzle in here. Let's go get uh the crest. I can't even remember which crest. Oh, oh. Bloody hell, my phone's going. One second, guys. Ah, oh shit. Nope. <laughs> Nearly rewound the game, apparently. Okay, cool. Totally lost my bloody train of thought, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, Amazon delivery for you. Um, right, so, picture of a newborn baby. Alright, let's go for the newborn baby. Ah, uh, no, this one isn't the picture of a tired middle-aged man. Yes. Nope. We need a lively boy, I believe. Next. Which should be yeah, this one here. Picture of a lively boy. Excellent. Uh, and then we need... Oh, I can't remember which order these are. Ah, shit. Hang on. Hang on. Rip the run. Rip the run. That's it. Pack up. Go home. Show's over, everybody. Uh, I can't believe I fucked that up. One of the best, um, or at least one of my favourite puzzles. Uh, I say puzzle. Puzzle's a strong word. I guess it is a puzzle, actually, if you don't know what you're doing. <clears throat> you know, I'm basically uh, demonstrating right here that I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, let's try that again, shall we? So, we want the newborn. Uh, I... Then we want the infant. Is it this one? Young man. No. No. We want the infant. This would be quite a bit easier if you could make out the pictures, but you know, I suppose it is what it is. Like so. Then, uh, young man. Then we want the tired middle-aged man, which is down here. I don't really like what they did with um, the remake, to be honest. Uh, I thought this original version of the puzzle was way better, you know. Uh, 
changing the lights and matching colors and stuff like that. And also, I can imagine for a couple of people out there that um, suffer with... Uh, no, we don't push the button again. Suffer with vision issues um, and things like that, especially colorblind uh, issues. That was a bit of humongous pain in the ass. <clears throat> so, yeah, I mean... Uh, even though I don't suffer from color blindness or anything like that, um, I do think that like building puzzles and things around colors and stuff is just, I don't think it's a very smart move. You know, there's a lot of people with vision um, problems. I guess that comes down to accessibility, or at least if you're gonna use colors. Um, at least have some other method of identifying parts of the puzzles as well. I'm not sure. But yeah, I, I can see that being a massive ball lake for some people. Anyway, let's go jiggle our junk around. <clears throat> we need to put some stuff back. Actually, we can pick up the broken shotgun here and go get ourselves a shotgun. Because we're kind of at that point now where our... Uh, our handgun is basically obsolete, so we can go throw that away, especially in this mode now where we get double ammo, in fact mainly because of this mode where we get double ammo, it's kind of redonkulous. Uh, or should we go back and grab up all the herbs first? Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe do that I guess. Right, let's go. I can't remember how many herbs were there. Well, <laughs> fuck it, let's go get the shotgun. Because that shotgun, you. Mm, yeah, shotgun time. I mean, there's probably like a mega efficient way of doing this whole section, but. Uh, ha, you know, I'm not exactly like Resident Evil expert. I, I believe I know the game reasonably well, but uh, as for the most efficient route through the game and stuff like that, I don't know. Anyway, let's go and especially on this arranged mode, which um, is different. And I definitely think more Resident Evil games should have an arranged mode. Um, and I would, as I've said before, uh, quite a few times in the Discord, I would love to um, have a look at some of these Resident Evil mods. But I haven't really found a decent resource that really explains... I, I know where to get them from, but I don't know how to put them together to make them actually function. Oh, beautiful. That actually was really nice. Right, let's go grab ourselves our new weapon, our new boomstick. She's going to be carrying us through this game because poor old Chris does not get the rocket launcher. What do you mean I can't use it here? What horse shit are you talking? Can't use it here? Are you simple, Chris? Thank you. There we go. Ooh. Right, we've got some more Zeds. Let's go deal with these guys. Little off the top, no harm done. All right, let's go. Ah, lovely. Ah, the most efficient way to put down a zombie in Resident Evil. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Pretty sure there isn't. Tapestry, nothing unusual. Well, yeah. Oh, look at the shotgun texture. Oh, that's not emulated properly. That's not emulated properly at all. Could get a better look at that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so um, uh, we got four slots. That should be enough to go grab up those herbs. We're probably not going to need those herbs, but it's me. I'm a collector maniac. Um, at least <sighs> that's what I call it. I must collect everything. Oh, we could. Yeah, but then we'll be two item slots down. All right, let's go grab up these herbs first. That's the only trouble with Chris, and if you're like a, a hoarder in games, 
like myself, and I am. My God, you guys, you see me play Elder Scrolls. Uh, playing back through Morrowind at the moment on the uh, the backwards compatible version on the Xbox. Did we take all these herbs? Bullshit, we took all these herbs. Okay, fine. Uh, all right. I guess we did. I mean, you can't you can't argue with the facts. Most most people don't argue with the facts. There are definitely a few people that argue with factual things, but um, they're silly. We don't talk to them. Anyway. Right. Let's grab up that magazine. That mag magazine isn't emulated very well either. Right, come on, zombie chops. There we go. Smile for the camera. Oof. There we go. Feel better for that, mate. I guess we'll grab the clip, as it calls itself here. Yeah. Sure. Ah, uh, right, and there's a small key in here, which we're going to be using in a second. Uh, we've got some more herbs to pick up in the next room, and we can change our outfit as well soon. So, should we change our outfit? I think we probably should. But we're going to have to go back to the item box, jiggle our junk around before we come back. Ugh, God damn it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, do we need to take the shotgun shells? Um, potentially yes, because we're going to be picking up some shotgun shells in the next room anyway, so... Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Actually, I think we're going to pick up a magazine as well. Hmm. I I'm tempted to pick all the magazines up because I'm so bloody curious just to see how much ammo we can finish this game with. Because it was kind of bloody stupid in the first game. Uh, in the standard vanilla mode you know uh, by the end of the game you had a lot of handgun bullets so that's going to be interesting all right so we can drop you down we can drop you down and drop you down we'll take the shells because we're going to go pick up a pack of shotgun shells anyway uh, there we go. 42 shotgun shells. Oof, good God. Actually, it's not 42, is it? It's uh, 46. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Very good. Very nice. <clears throat> okay. Let's go. Now, would it have been more efficient to go up and around? Uh... No, I don't think it really makes a huge amount of difference, actually. Yeah, interesting that the um, shotgun texture is not correct. Now, being that this is Resident Evil, I'm very surprised. There's no way the shotgun looked like that in the OG game. No way. No, it didn't. Yes, that's what it's kind of supposed to look like, sort of. I mean, that's a much higher poly model. But, yeah, no. Strange. All right, well, you know, whatever, I guess. Is it a big deal? No. Does it ruin the enjoyment of the game? No. Cool. Let's go. Odd, though. You would have thought that would have been caught. So it kind of looks like we're carrying around a big old log of shit. It's not just that the textures haven't loaded in, it's the fact that <laughs> we're carrying a, a literally deep brown log in our hands. Questionable, really. Definitely a, an odd glitch. It makes me want to see some of the other weapons. I wonder if there's any other glitches we can spot in this. Hey guys, it's not Austin. Come on. There we go. Lovely. Right, so we have a magazine here. Um, there's ink ribbons in the other room that we don't need. <clears throat> All right, we'll take the magazine, sure. Why not? Hello, friend. Oh, look at his, like, guts and stuff. Um, yeah, the models. 
the models don't look too bad at all. They, yeah. Very happy with what they've done. I mean, I like to believe that they're tweaking this emulator in the background and um, they're going to, I don't know, maybe like push out uh, 15 or so game PlayStation games at a time, maybe more, uh, a few times a year. Uh, but I also know that Sony doesn't give a shit about the old games. Um, just by the fact that they've made them the most expensive tier. Uh, and it's taken this long. I mean, an entire generation. The PlayStation 4 was nearly, nearly the only PlayStation console uh, that couldn't play PlayStation 1 games. Uh, technically, the PS5 doesn't count because we're still relatively early on in its life. Anything could happen. But yeah, I, oh, hello, Jill. Uh, let's go change up our outfit. Why not? Think about that. I mean, I suppose the argument could be made. Do you really call like six, seven games backwards compatibility? Uh, I guess not really. Okay, sweet. I haven't actually looked at the PlayStation 2 library. Um, oh, also, the way you filter um, through the shop is is awful as well. Like, you can't filter, say, Xbox. Um, Xbox. <laughs> Derp. You can't um, filter PlayStation 1 games, PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation 3 games. You, there's nothing like that. Uh, it really is a nightmare. So... From what I've discovered through many years of using a PlayStation 3 and a PlayStation 4, best thing to do is to look up an online list of the games that are on the system and then search it in the store. It's just so much easier than going through the fucking terrible list. I mean, even Microsoft allows you to search via um, platform. Okay. And then, obviously, uh, Nintendo has their own individual apps for each each game, which is also, you know, very adequate. Uh, so, where are we heading now? We've done that. We've done the Crest Room. Ah, we can go see how Rebecca's getting on. Yes, that seems like a plan. Now, my goal for the day, got a few hours left to record, is to finish up this Chris's uh, campaign and then um, hopefully uh, I can get Rebecca done, uh, get Rebecca done, get Jill done uh, next week. <clears throat> okay, so, I, might, I don't know, I might get them done. I also need to start a new LP today. Because we've got this, um, obviously. Not that this is going to be very long, I don't think. Uh, maybe maybe a couple of weeks worth of videos, maybe. Um, oh, we can do the plant as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, actually, we can go do the... Oh, there's a few things we've still got to tick off the old list. So, let's go do the plant. Um, we don't need a weapon. So we can put all of our weapons and stuff back. We don't need a weapon until we go upstairs. So let's, let's put you down, put you down. Let's grab the clip. Oh wow, 160 bullets, very nice. Uh... Yeah, so I was planning um, on possibly doing Max Payne, but I haven't got it downloaded. <laughs> um, and yes, I do have it on the disc. Ooh. 
but unfortunately, the way the Xbox works is, um, although you put the disc in, it still has to download the game. Right, let's take nothing except the chemical with us. So that's a little bit unfortunate. 